Scroll down and we run into what we call icons. Select it and select icon on the left and you will see this is where you bring in the icons. It's important to understand that you're working with a free version and usually in the free version, you are limited with the number of icons. I actually don't use icons that much because I feel they're all the same. I often try to bring in images instead of icons that I get from other websites. In this case, let's add some thing. I'll just, let's see if I type in print. Okay, there's a printer. And then select the next icon. Click on the icon, select there. And this one, we will see if there's design. Let's look for a pen. Yep, that will work. Use this one and do the same for the third one. We call this class, no class, education, no, learn, no. So what can we think in terms of a classes room? Okay, that's bathroom. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Okay, and scroll down until you see this one here, which is also an icon, and this is a quote. So actually this quote here is pretty standard, oh, but we can go for this one instead. It looks a little nicer. I'll even increase the size, go to background and I'll just dec decrease the size of the background, the tad. Icons, and those are the icons. Not to be overlooked is the icon box. The icon box is an element that combines an icon with a text element and a button element. I wish there were more elements like this in Brizzy. So what you do is you can use all of these in one container without having to add them to columns. On our page, we have an instance of the icon box and they appear here. So it's great for lists. If I hover here, you will see we have a bounding box here and that binds these two elements, namely the icon and the text together. You can change the icons here Go to the icon and switch it out again. Let's type in check. I'm pretty sure I'm only going to get one. Oh, let's go for something else. Let's choose the double check. And you will see the double check updates there. Let's do it for this one as well. Check. Just so you understand how that works. And to change out the text is the same way. List icon number one here. And then same for this one. List icon number two here. Um, and that's it. That is the icon box changes that we need to make. Great for lists like these. You can change the color if you didn't want the yellow. You could change if you do it like so. Uh, where's the color? Background. And there we go. And I'll put that, align it also, the icon in the middle. Nice. Icon box, everybody.